Hey guys, welcome. And this nail video is sponsored by bornpretty.com. All the information will be down below. I received some polishes that I'm going to open up for you. I believe this is the hot pink gel polish set that they sent me. And they also sent me, which I am going to try, a chrome, a metallic drawing gel or painting gel. Super shine silver. So what I'm seeing on the website is I can paint my nail the color that I want, put this over it, cure it, and then apply a top coat and it gives a chrome finish. Super excited. We're definitely going to try this out. So I oh, never heard of it, but I've always, I love chrome. I've had chrome nails before, um, done by a nail tech. And, you know, you have to, like, get the chrome powder and all that other stuff. And it just has never really worked for me. So, I am hoping that this works out very well for me. So, I am going to do the metallic. I'm going to come back and show you guys. So, let me get this open so you guys can see the polishes here. You guys know I love pink. I love pink. And even though we're getting ready to go out of summer into the fall, we're going to go ahead and do a couple of pink nails. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And we're going to do some chrome nails, honey. Yes. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six colors in this pack. I will put a link and everything for you down below as I normally do. And another thing about this company, this company has gel polishes, regular polishes, magnetic gels, reflective gels. I got to look into that reflective gels poly gel extension building gels nail extension tools they also have kits and bundles single gel colors nail art liquids everything that you need it does not take long to get the product all the information is going to be down below i had my products in less than a week they ship very very fast um they can take care of all of your nail needs for you so definitely click the link and show me some love and show them some love so we're going to go ahead and get into polish Polishing these babies here. They are all naked and they are ready to be polished. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right. So you guys know that I always take my stones, my charms off as much as I can um, before I head back to my nail girl. Um, it just helps me um, when they do it. I just have too much anxiety. I feel like and you guys see how she drills my nails and how she does my nails. She rough. So she not putting no nippers nowhere near my nails and cuticles and things. But I'm getting the charms off. It's my first time doing these charms like this. So I'm trying to see how easy it is to get them off. They all came off very easily. <clears throat> very easily. So I was very excited about that. I got most of the stones off. I know once I get most of them off, she can drill the rest off. So as long as I can get most of them off, I let her drill the rest off and I'm good. So I'm trying to do my, I'm right-handed and I'm trying to do my right hand here. So, and show y'all at the same time, but hopefully you can see that I am cutting the charm off. I try to get up under the charm at an angle that I left lifted up because then it just pops off. So yes, I had to do a lot of sweeping when I finished taking these off, but I'm just taking those off, letting you guys see that it was not that difficult. I thought I was going to have to get out the drill and drill a little bit. This charm actually broke, so I had to take it off in pieces, but it came off. So I thought I was going to have to get out the drill and drill them off. I did not have to drill anything off this heart right here. I thought I was going to have to drill off because this heart was on there, baby. But it eventually popped off. I just had to find a little, a little piece of it that was lifted up. So that I can get it off. Thank you. 
right guys so yeah here i'm just getting all of these little stones off and that's the thing about when i bling out an entire nail i actually sit here and try to clip as many as those little rhinestones off that i can and yes i have a whole lot to sweep up off the floor when i get done but i try to get as many of them off as i can before i go to her so i'm just sitting here clipping those off <laughs> Excuse me, I usually do it the night before. So this is the night before I go to the nail place is when I just clip everything off. I just sit up that night and make sure we got leftovers from last night or make sure we're ordering out. Because I know as soon as I get home from work, my mind, my time is consumed with getting the stuff off my nails that I need to get off. All right, guys, I'm testing out. This is the, what I did with the box. What I did with the box. The beautiful young lady that gave me the, um, the car thing to hold my phone. It's been a minute. Um, I don't know what I did with the box, but I know I kept the box. It's been a minute because, um, I had one, but I am so thankful for you. Right now it's holding up. We'll see how it does. Good morning. What is in the matcha latte? That's milk and just the matcha powder. Um, okay, I have a coupon for a free medium ice matcha latte. So I'm going to try that. Okay. Can I get um, extra cream, extra sugar, and whipped topping? Cool whip on the top? Whipped cream on the top? Whipped cream, yes. Anything else? That's it. Um, light, light ice, please. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So if you like Dunkin', they have a Dunkin' app. And after you go so many times, you can get free, free stuff. I have never tried the matcha latte before. I hope I like it. Because one thing that can mess up your morning is your coffee. Hopefully I like it. Um, but yeah, but the thing about the points, like I have 1,600 points. But the latte is going to use 500 of those points. So when you do use your points, you use a lot. I save my points up. I try to get to 2,000, and then I treat myself to a free drink. So, and then so I should have went inside, because sometimes when you get to the window, the thing about Dunkin', they need to do better. The um, coupon have a hard time working. So, we're going to see. But I got this up. I may need to move it a little bit. I know that y'all can see me. So, we're going to see. Let me get my cough then. Hello. So let me see. Activate. Okay. So let's see. No, it's free. Yeah. It went down to 530. How much is it regularly? Huh? It's, it's supposed to be free. See? Is it? See, I told y'all I should have went inside. Hold on, y'all. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so the coffee was free with the purchase. So I had. Glaze. It was with the purchase. I didn't see that part, y'all. It was free with the purchase. So I just got a donut. So a dollar seventy for. Thank you for the coffee. Now let me show y'all the coffee, y'all. My morning might be messed up. It's green. It is green. Oh my God. I don't even know what this is. Uh, oh, let me get over here so I can stop. Ooh, I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what this is. It's green. Why didn't I know a matcha latte was green? 
Oh, let me taste it because my morning is probably shot at this point. It is green. Oh my god. I was like the whipped cream first. I done got extra cream and sugar thinking this is a coffee. This is not a coffee. This is not a coffee. I don't even know what this is. Does anybody know what a matcha latte is? M-A-T-C-H-L-A. -A. Oh, my God. Y'all, this is not a coffee. It's not bad. It's not bad at all, but it's not coffee. And y'all know that means I have, that means I got to go home. I usually treat myself to coffee on nail day. I don't know what it tastes like. It, it's not coffee. It tastes healthy. Ugh. I cannot even tell y'all what it tastes like. It tastes like a smoothie. It tastes like a spinach. It tastes like a spinach smoothie or something. Ugh. So disappointed. I thought it was like any other. I thought it was some little special, some special latte they got. Oh, uh, cause I've had ice caramel lattes, ice mocha lattes. Like, oh my gosh. All right, well, it was free. It was free, so um, we didn't waste no money. It was free, but I'm gonna have to go home when I get home and make me coffee. I just go home when I get home and make me an iced coffee. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Cause what is this? Y'all. And I'm not gonna finish it. I'm not gonna drink it. I eat the whipped cream out of it. But it's a wrap. I'll be back after I get my nails done. did a little small clip for y'all of her laying the acrylic on my nails building them out I think that she makes them wider when I get them slimmer she makes them wider so not this time when I go home but next time when I go home I'm gonna have to slim them back down again I just feel like she brings them out but I feel like it's because my nails start to grow wide so I have to look into it um, but this is just a little clip of her putting the acrylic on my nails And I zoomed in a little bit for you guys so you can see her laying the acrylic. She does lay the acrylic very well. She does make sure my nails are builded up. I can't talk bad about her. I don't break a nail. I don't have any issues. I can knock a nail and do whatever I need to do and I'm good. So I do what I need to do at home with no problem. All right, guys, I am leaving the nail place. 
show y'all the girls because I always show y'all the naked girls. Hope I don't get striped for that, but I always show y'all the, the girls. Leaving the lab, as I should say. I call the nail place the lab. Um, if you follow my other Instagram page, I measured them before. I'm going to measure them when I get home because I feel like when she shapes them, it takes some length away, which is normal, which is normal. But I'm going to measure them when I get home. And then I'm going to measure them again if I can remember. I want to measure them again before I come back. Because I want to see how much length. Everything was almost two, two and a half inches. I think my thumbs were at the three on the ruler, if y'all remember. Um, I want to see where they are now. Because I feel like the shaping takes some length away. Um, and then I want to see where they are, how much growth I have or where they are. And I'm going to write it down because I don't want to forget where they are when I come back to her. Um, I think that every other time that I go to her, if that's the case, every other time that I go to her, I'm going to extend them. Now, I can tell y'all that I can tell that they've grown or I can tell that I've extended them because I'm starting to hit them a little bit more. I think I was used to the length that I had. And so even driving, I'm learning that in certain places I cannot put my hands or it gets caught like on this on the windshield wiper thing or the turning signal thing. So, you know, I am picking up on things that I hadn't picked up on before as far as the length of the nails. So I can tell that I have some growth because I'm like hitting things or knocking them more than I used to. So I have some growth. But I'm trying to get to three or four inches by December. So if next time I come to her, I'm probably going to extend them before I polish them. I'm not going to do it this time. I'm not going to do it this time. I'm going to go home and measure them. Um, I did square square as I always do. They don't stay square, but I type all day long. I wish I could find a way to make them stay square. But when you type all day like me, um, it wears down the shape. It wears down the shape so I feel like when I tell her to shape them and make them square square again it's taking away like half an inch that's how I feel like half an inch so yeah so I'm going to go run a couple of errands go home and measure them and then I'm going to polish them and I'll be back Okay guys, so we are going to try the metal painting gel. I'm gonna try that on one of the nails. Hold on, let me get my base coat. All right, so I have my base coat. So it says apply the base coat, cure it, then apply your gel, cure it, and then apply the metallic. Um, and it also says that you can use this metallic as a drawing gel. So like you can um, take a brush and like draw designs. You don't have to make the whole nail metallic, so. Let's see. And I think I have to cure it for 120 seconds afterwards. So I'm going to cure my base coat first. Okay. Then it says do my color gel, then cure. Then put the metallic on and then the top coat. Hold on. Take an appropriate amount of metal painting gel. Draw the lines or designs you like. Let it stand for five seconds. So you got to let it stand for five seconds and then you can cure it okay so we are going to go in with one of the born pretty pinks that they sent me out of the collection i think i could have just put that metallic drawing gel right on top but it says that it's brighter over a color so let's put that on and i'm not going to go all the way down to my base because i like to watch the base of my nails i told y'all that before if you're new to my channel um i like to watch the base for lifting i like to watch the base for getting any water underneath make sure you don't get any green stuff people view when they see green stuff under your nails they're so disgusted and it's, it's not a pretty look it's not but it's normal it's normal and natural if you're not paying attention. If you bang your nail, 
and then you want to go trying to glue it and all this other stuff and you're washing dishes and you're taking a shower when you're brushing your teeth you're gonna get it it doesn't mean that the person is nasty or nothing like that it's a part of having nails so i'm gonna cure this color so i always leave a little space at the bottom if anybody ever asks nobody ever asks me when they see me but i always leave a little space at the bottom and i was in the store today <laughs> the dollar tree today y'all i got so frustrated because the girl was like um Oh my God, your nails are so long. And it's like, y'all, please, please, if y'all go anywhere, if y'all do anything, please, please do not say that to anybody with long nails. Please. We know our nails are long. Like, I feel like besides asking me how I wipe, you could say anything else you want to say to me. But do not say my nails are so long. Please do not. I know that. Like, why are you telling me that? Ooh. Ooh. It's very liquidy. Okay, we got to be careful. All right. Very liquidy. So I am going to try to... I made... I didn't um, make a straight line at the bottom. Because uh, I said that I was going to try to draw a line. Can y'all see it? And it says let it stand for five seconds. But with my nails being curved... I don't know if it's going to run down, but guess what? We finna see what we do with. Listen, I was finna chrome out this whole, whole nail until I figured out I can draw. And y'all know your girl cannot draw, but this is so much fun. You got to make sure the top is on this tight too, because this is not a thick gel. This is not like a builder gel or something. This is a liquid. I'm so excited. Oh my God, y'all. Look, I don't know how to do this. Okay, I'm going to show y'all afterwards so it don't run down. It said let it sit for five seconds, but I'm scared that it's going to mess up my design. I just hit that lamp. Okay. I'm scared it's going to mess up my design, so I'm going to go ahead and do my 60 seconds. Go ahead and do my 60 seconds. And then I'm going to show y'all before I do it again. At least it'll be kind of cured. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god i'm gonna try to get some more of those y'all i gotta talk to them honey oh my god and there is a little brush you can buy to draw with i'm looking at their website i'm gonna talk to my to um this young lady about the lady that i deal with about getting the brush and getting some other colors because this is super duper cool i don't know how to draw that well but your girl did her thing oh my gosh this is this is the easiest chrome in life. Like I know coloring the chrome on is easy for some of y'all. But this is so easy. Okay, now I can show y'all because I ain't scared. Look. Look at that. Let me give y'all some light. Hold on. Y'all want some light? I gotta hook up my lamp. Look, y'all. Yes. Yes. Y'all know I'll come back and show y'all on the end, but yes. And I just did some squigglies and some dots. Love it. Now, before I knock that over, because it is very liquidy. And if I was to knock that over, I don't know what I would do with my life. So, I'm going to close it. I'll decide if I'm going to do it on the other hand, but I need to do another 60 seconds. And then I'll do my top coat towards the end when I do all of them. But y'all, that was so simple. It was so simple. All right. So I'm going to go in with the design that I wanted to do for today because I feel like this design will be easy and I feel like I won't mess it up. Y'all feeling me on that? I hope so. So, I don't know if y'all going to be able to see it, but I am going to try to do the crocodile look. Because I did it before and I feel like I liked it and it was simple. Um, 
and then i am going to put i think the either the lollipops i don't know y'all them charms be catching boo the lollipops or the hearts or the stars i'm gonna put that and some stones so i think i think that'll be easy for me i hope i don't mess it up i'll be back This is definitely not easy. I think I told y'all, but the last time I did the crocodile look, when you have curved nails or long nails like mine, you'll have to cure in between. Otherwise, the polish will run over the sides, especially the stripes that you're doing. They can run over and not become stripes. Um, I did mess up the first nail that I did, but I kind of camouflaged it with the charms and with a little bit of glitter so you won't be able to see it. But this look... You have to do a couple of stripes cure and then a couple of stripes in cure. I've tried to do it all wet at once and it just doesn't work for me. So here is the look. All right, guys. So I got the nails done. This design is very hard if you have curved nails. I'm going to tell you that right now. The crocodile, it just runs everywhere. But now I want to put, I have the Betty Cora rhinestone glue. Oh, why don't I just use scissors? And I'm going to put a charm on. We're going to cross our fingers on these charms because what I've experienced, even with my hair in twists, these charms, they catch. So I'm going to put some rhinestone glue on here. I'm going to grab me, I'm going to go with, I'm going to be dangerous. I'm going to grab me a lollipop. Well, the one thing I like about the rhinestone glue better than I normally use top coat or regular glue is once I put that lollipop up there, at least it's not falling off or rolling off. Y'all see the lollipop? Okay, so I kind of want it at an angle and maybe it won't grab so much. And I'm going to put a couple of these hearts Because I'm thinking the hearts might not snag as much as, much as the stars. So, grab the heart. I don't even know. I know this glue has to be cured, but hopefully it don't start drying because the heart don't want to come up. I just want to put you on my nail. Okay, there's a heart. And let me get a blue heart. I'll turn the camera around so y'all can see. So I'm going to do that. The bears are kind of big. I was going to go with the bears, but there's some stars in here. But oh. I think the lollipops are cute for the design that I'm doing. And the hearts are cute for the design that I'm doing. So I like the rhinestone glue. And I like the fact that the rhinestone glue... Um, the stuff don't even move when you put it on there. It don't slide or nothing like regular glue. So I'll be back with my full design. All right, guys. Let me go ahead and show y'all these in case some of these charms come off. I didn't do too many charms this time. So here are the nails. Okay. And there is the lollipop and then the two hearts. And I threw some rhinestones on there. This one um, was a glitter polish sent to me by Born Pretty in that selection. So I wanted you guys to see the glitter. I actually threw some additional glitter over the other nails. Now the chrome nail, make sure that you cure it. Okay, let me flip the camera around. Okay, that's better. Make sure you cure it 
as long as it says because I put some stones here because I went to put on the top coat and it messed up and I was like no you know because I was in love with this nail so I kind of cleaned it up a little bit but some of it did cure and dry as you can see here and so some of it had ran down there I cleaned it up and I just put those stones there so the chrome gel needs like a little bit more than 120 seconds to me i did 60 60 and then i did a whole nother 60 and now it seems to be dry so i'm glad i didn't want to mess it up too much i started to put um glitter in the messed up spots and i started to put um rhinestones in the messed up spot and i was like you know what i do not want to mess up this nail a little bit of mess up here and there is fine i like the chrome i like the nail i'm gonna play with it a little bit more um but for now i did that so i can play with it and get used to it here is the lollipop and the two hearts we will see how long that stays on and these are the other nails and i'm gonna go to my right hand so my right hand, I use all the polish, all the polishes except the green is from the Born Pretty um, and the orange. It's from the Born Pretty collection. All of the polishes, beautiful polishes. Um, I like the design. I played it safe with the designs. It is an easy design to do. And on the thumb is where I put the lollipop. We'll see how long it lasts. And the two hearts. I don't think the two hearts will snag too much. But hopefully my lollipop can stay on. I think I'm going to go back under the lamp with the lollipops for like um, 60 more seconds. Because I used the rhinestone glue gel and then I went around them with the 6-in-1 um, nail, 8-in-1 nail glue. Sorry. And I just want to make sure that my charms stay on. It's like crazy to look down and notice you lost the charm and you don't know where. Because you've been gone all day. Don't even know every stop you made. But I love the look. I love the polishes. The Born Pretty Polishes, I did one coat. The coat underneath is one coat. So one coat of those is enough. Um, you can do two coats, but the polishes are very, very good polishes. Very good polishes. You can get a lot of pigmentation with just one coat. So these are my nails for the next three weeks i am going to enjoy them i'm going to get deeper into the charms and stuff if y'all have any nail designs that y'all want me to try that's not too difficult you guys that's not too difficult dm me on instagram i showed y'all where i got the inspiration from on this design from instagram i just found it when i see something that i feel like is simple enough for me to do i save it so if y'all see something that y'all think i can do or even a color that you want me to do we're getting ready to go in the fall so i'm gonna bring out my browns i'm gonna bring out my burgundies i don't really do reds but i'm gonna bring out my greens my browns my burgundies um and we're gonna get to it so yeah i love this set um if the charms didn't snag on everything, I'm going to watch some videos on the charms and see how they're wearing these charms and how they're keeping them from snagging. I know somebody said, like, where it's sticking up at. See? See right there? See where it's sticking up at? I should put glue there. If you put glue or build a gel there, then it won't be able to catch on your hair or nothing like that. So, I'm going to get used to it. I'm going to get it together for y'all because I have some beautiful, beautiful charms that I want to use. So, I'm going to get it together for y'all. But here are the charms that I used this time. I felt like the lollipops and the hearts kind of went really well with this simple theme that I was doing. So, let me know what y'all think. Hope y'all like them.